even though we're quite far into the stage, it's going okay. It literally only takes one moment and you, you crash and you're off. No! Jimmy here and welcome back to another video. So since my last video when I sort of spoke about Richard Burns, I've been playing it quite a bit off camera. It's sort of nice getting back into rallying and get back into the style because rallying is one of those things that I think if you don't do it for a while, you sort of lose a little bit of speed or just kind of forget how to turn and crash. You guys are very quick to point out in my last video because now, let's be honest, I didn't drive too well. <laughs> Bono, my Trabant is stuck! So I thought a fun idea would be to find the most difficult, the longest, the most intense stage I can find in Richard Burns' rally, and then drive it with one minor detail. I drive it in a Trabant! Because I played a game called Jalopy recently, where I had to push that shitbox for 20Ks because all four tires popped and it ran out of fuel. It was great. I loved it. Now just before I get into inevitably having to push this car for another 20 kilometers, if you do end up enjoying this video at any point and if you want to see more, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing. If you think I can do something better, then please let me know in the comments. I'm always looking to improve. Always, always, always. So here is our trusty Trabant. And a lot of you guys were telling me from the last video that this actual livery uh, belongs to a bit of a madman who apparently just goes out uh, to every rally and just rolls his Trabant for every corner, which is, I got a lot of time for that. Now, now what makes this car unique is one, it's kind of half made out of cotton, look that up, and two, it's powered by a two-stroke engine, similar to what you sort of expect on a motorbike really. This one's tuned a little bit though, it'll make 65 horsepower, and on the stage we're going to be driving, this thing might see top speeds of 85, 90 mile an hour, just before we hit a tree and die of course. And this is the stage, I'm going to do my best job at pronouncing this. On and poya? Finnish people, I'm so sorry. Please don't come break my legs. <laughs> and as you can see from the map, it's actually quite a fast stage, but it is super long. One of the longest stages um, in Richard Burns' rally, coming in at 34.7 kilometers, which is... Uh... Alexa, what's 34.7 kilometers in miles? 34.7 kilometers is about 21.56 miles. Yo, I suppose I should really get on with it if I want to uh, finish this before I go for my uh, my run later. On the point in the Trabant. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, oh, yes. I forget about the load times. Uh, Richard Burns was never really meant to have stages this long. Let's tweet about it. I am waiting for On Employer to load. Here he is, the poppy boy. He's ready, ready to go. Oh man, 34 and a half kilometers. That's a lot of kilometers. Anyway, Trabant go. Wait for it. Oh, the shift. you love to see that. And away we go on Empire in a car made of cotton. Oh man, this is a, uh, it's going to be a long stage this. And the thing is, it's a very quick stage on Empire very fast, uh, high speeds, so it's um, very easy to be caught out at pretty much any time, even in the Trabant, because we will be getting up to those heady heights, you know, 85 mile an hour, maybe even 90 mile an hour if the straight's long enough. But um, those corners are mixed in with stuff like this. These square corners where you can really quite easily just overshoot, have a big crunch. So why am I, um, why am I doing this? <laughs> well, that's the question, isn't it? Uh, Kind of the main reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to get a bit more practice in it in the Trabant. Because after my last video where I sort of asked, like, yo, I want to race this thing in a championship. Do any exist? Um, you guys pointed one out to me. It had like a hundred members, a hundred people taking part in it. I wanted to actually uh, be not awful in the car before I maybe did my first uh, attempt to take part in it. Would you guys be interested in maybe seeing a video on that? Maybe like an edited video of my attempt at taking part in the uh, Trabant Championship? I think it could be fun. I always like driving cars like this because it's a bit of a different experience. It's a bit less intense than, you know, WRC car or a Group B car or even a Group A car, but it's all about momentum and that's just kind of fun to me. Caution. Oh God, he did say caution. The brakes! Man, the brakes are gnarly on this thing. We only weigh like 800 kilos, so we are a bit of a light boy. 
The reason we weigh 800 kilos is because our car is made out of t-shirts. I'm doing my best, by the way, to drive at a decent-ish pace, because I know in my last video you guys gave me so much shit for driving like shit, which is fair enough, I wasn't driving very well in that video. But it's kind of hard doing the commentary, listening to this guy, and of course the glorious sound of the two-stroke Jabant. There you go, very nice, very nice. Getting that dip there. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. You, the gusher run. Oh gosh, could you imagine a Trapan <laughs> in initial D? Oh god. I want to see that shit now. Setting the scene. D Takumi's going down his toe from looks in the mirror and suddenly the Trapan's up behind him. You can hear the little pop and bangs of the uh, of the two stroke <laughs> as it comes up behind. Nani! Is that a popcorn machine? <laughs> Always. Okay, got a K left coming up. So. Always make sure to sort of like highlight those things in my mind because sometimes you hear the K call and you don't really take it on board and you need to, especially if you're traveling at the speed you can get up to on this stage. My heart rate right now is 91. There you go, slightly elevated by the, uh, the intoxicating aura of Trabant. And we are currently six kilometers into this 28 kilometer stage. It's a long one. I'm probably gonna just jinx it now, but I'm hoping we won't need Vlad. Oh, Vladimir this. <laughs> For this stage because I'm not going fast enough to make any big mistakes hopefully. Oh mate she does doesn't like being in those lower gears. You have to remember as well it's a two-stroke. All that power is right at the very top. Two strokes not really interested in being revved around 3,000 rpm. It wants to be up the top when it can be. Right what's that a jump? Right come on. Flat over the jump. How much are we gonna get? Oh sh quite a lot actually. Oh god here we go. We're getting into the proper section now. 134 k's there. Come on, Triban. I think we've hit VMAX. There's a dab of the brake through there. Oh, now we're now we're getting proper. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> that maybe, or maybe not on Triban. My god, that even in a Triban, that section is terrifying. Now imagine that in a car with treble the horsepower. Uh oh, where? Okay, K left coming up. Where is it? There. Oh, I'm so right down there. I've got to carry far more speed. I'm so, I'm so scared. It's such a long stage, this. You don't want to make a mistake. 10 Ks down. Come on. Doing well here. Easy, easy, easy. Watch the corner open up. I'm just completely flat. I mean, you can see my inputs in the bottom left there. So it's just trying to keep the car straight as much as possible, really. Oh, the rock there. Oh, I nearly got the rock. Do not want to rock. Oh, look at that. At min max in that corner, man. I was right on the edge. That could have been a certified rock moment. But yeah, I've been really enjoying coming back to Richard Burns and sort of getting back into rally again. I find it's a bit of a, like a cyclical thing for me. I, I, I get really into rally and then I just forget about it for a few months, get back into it, forget about it. It's always fun coming back though, because you sort of realize just how nuts these guys are in real life, especially the guy who drives this second car. I wouldn't feel safe driving this thing on just a road, let alone in the forest of Finland. Oh God, didn't panic at all there. No panicking here. Never any panicking. Oh, it's so cute though. And it, he's trying his best. Ultra bad. No, he's, he's given everything he's got. It's not much, but he's given everything he's got. <laughs> I relate to that on a level I don't want to talk about. <laughs> Mate, imagine this in a Group B car, man. That'll just be the end. And the crest, there you go. Oh god. <laughs> that might not have looked scary, but it really was. <laughs> right in the ditch there. So because this is front wheel drive, if we do have a big slide, the easiest way to come out of it is just to drop a gear and nail it and hope the front wheels pull us out. The worst thing you can do really is just get off the throttle indefinitely. Bola! Oh, perfection. Clipping that apex there, and that was intentional. <laughs> Come on, 100 kilometers, 60 mile an hour. Come on, baby. It's revving the tits off it now. I think this is the only way. I say revving the tits, it's 5,000 RPM. <laughs> it's not very high. But it's doing okay. We're nearly at the halfway mark. Here we go. 140k, 140k, I saw it. Oh no. Oh, I just weed a little bit. That's okay. If you're not weeing in your Trabant, you aren't doing it right. Why can't my Trabant in Jalopy be like this? This thing is feisty. It wants to survive. 
My one and jalopy, you look at it and the fucking door falls off. It's got to the point now where I'm timing my gear changes over the crest, so what I mean is if I'm going over here, I'll keep it in fourth, but as soon as I go over the top, I'll go to the next gear to use the gravity to help us get up the gear quicker. So we're now halfway through the stage, just about, which means another 10 minutes or so to go. I'm hoping that we can get through in one piece, because even though we're quite far into the stage, it's going okay. It literally only takes one moment and you, you crash and you're off, because these are trees and they're all solid. If I hit them at any speed, my car will literally iron and fold itself. But I am enjoying driving this car, it's fun. It's fun not having all that power, and it's a different sort of driving. You're constantly just trying to keep the speed up and just find the best way for each corner. And there's like a, a reward for that. Oh, see, I think is I want to push. This car is inspiring me to go quick. I love how good Richard Burns rally feels, even in a car that's a Trabant. You, you feel like you have control of the car. So you feel like, all right, I'm going to push it a bit then. Why, why the hell not? But then, of course, when you start doing that, you start getting confidence. That's when Richard Burns goes, you know what? Those testicles of yours, they belong to me now. And then just promptly steps on them. That is the Richard Burns rally experience. And I fucking love it. Oh, yes, okay, we didn't die. Anytime I get through a K corner without a death, that's a big... Big achievement. I wonder if I can get through the stage in under 20 minutes. It's looking like it's going to be unlikely. But this is a proper stage, this is. I love these stages that are longer. It's sort of a bit more realistic to real life. It's kind of hard to, you know, make these because making literally 30 kilometers of in-game circuit takes a long time to do that. But it's great to see an employer still kicking around after all these years. And I know this might not look like the fastest. Oh my God. And that really just proves my point. But at any point, that can happen. And you just die. If I didn't catch that then, that would have been it. Because we would have just hit a tree. Oh, a hairpin. Can we do a, a cool little flick here? Meh, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I made it through though. So we're getting into the last part of the stage now. And this is where you start getting complacent. I've only got 9Ks to go. I've made it through the tough stuff. No. The tough stuff is still all around us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ditch. Luckily, the Trabant is build, built for all scenarios. <laughs> God, that was lucky, man. That was lucky. That was nearly it. Luckily, we weigh about as much as his shoe, so we could slow it down, but... Starting to get into like the anxiety stage now of I can feel the finish. I can feel it getting closer. But we're not there yet. We're not there just yet. But hopefully this will be great preparation for my uh, for my attempt in the Trabant Championship. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. I don't expect to do particularly well in it, but it will just be fun to have an excuse to drive this thing and try and go at some speed in it. Oh god. Every moment, every every scary moment I have feels like it's closer to being the last moment. <laughs> if you know what I mean, it's getting a bit a bit tricky now. All these bumps in the uh, in the road, all these little yumps are uh, just meaning that I've got to be so careful, so careful. Don't want to mash the brake, of course, but I want to make sure I'm really hitting it properly. Caution. Okay, come on, come on. 5Ks to go. Come on, Trabant. We're so nearly there. We've done the hard stuff now. We've done nearly 30Ks in these forests, you and me together. You've not blown up yet. We've not hit anything yet. Which maybe is probably the uh, the biggest surprise. Oh, mate, this thing is actually quite a lot of fun to just slide around in the gravel. We've not had many moments where we've had to do that because we're sort of just carrying the speed a lot. But when you do, oh, no. I will shut up about sliding. Sliding is banned. <laughs> Less than 10% of the stage to go, come on. We've, we've got this far, together. No grunkle beside us to annoy us. No border crossings. No! 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 Oh, man! I told you, goddamn con car, 2.9 kilometers to go, and we feckin' crash out. Vlad, please.
Push me to the end, man. We can roll. Come on. Now, there is slight desperation here, but we've got some speed up now. There's a hill coming up. Maybe we can get over it. Come on, Cotton Car. I know I said... I know I said nasty things about you. Oh, no, the hill. It's going to be the end of us. Come on. No! Nah! And there you go. With 2.7 kilometers to go. Trabant's kill. But there you go, guys. That is just a genuine Richard Burns rally experience. You think you're doing all right, and then killed. If you enjoyed the video, I'd very much appreciate you tapping that like button. Subscribe as well, if you like, of course. And again, let me know if you want to see my uh, attempted exploits in the Trabant Championship. I'm not sure where I'm going to jump in, what round it will be, but I think it just could be a lot of fun to actually drive this thing in anger against other madmen. Thank you to my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, you can do so by hitting the join button below. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.